So for the irrigation system that we've set up in our green roof, we use the clay pot method of irrigation. This is a 4,000 year old method of irrigation where we don't need to water these plants on a daily basis. So what do we do? We take an unglazed earthen pot like this. This is unglazed. You get it in any uh, pottery shop uh, in any local market. You take a pot which is maybe 10 liters uh, or depending upon the size of your container, you buy a, a size of pot which will easily fit into your container. You fill this with water. Don't forget to buy the lid from the same potter. You place this lid on top of the pot, dig a little hole in the soil and place this earthen pot in the soil. Because of the unglazed uh, nature of these pots, what will happen is that uh, uh, through the twin action of uh, osmosis and capillary action, the roots of the plants will automatically start sucking water from the base of the pot and they will take as much water as they need for their irrigation requirement and we will not end up over watering or under watering the plants. So like you can see the roots of the plant will create a kind of a network at the base of this pot and they will take as much water as they need for their irrigation purposes from the base of this pot. Here you can see there is, uh, there is this network of roots that the plant has created at the base of this pot. So this is how this irrigation system works. You can also take some of this uh, well rotted cow dung or goat dung and just sprinkle it inside this cavity and then place the pot back. So this, this kind of helps provide irrigation as well as nourishment to the plant. So the, so the, uh, uh, the, the dung, the goat dung or the cow dung will get directly absorbed by the roots and it will also uh, absorb water at the same time. So it's getting uh, nourishment both from this, from, from, from this uh, manure as well as the water. This also helps in saving a lot of uh, time and effort in uh, you know, watering these plants on a daily basis. Uh, in passion fruit, what we have observed is that this pot lasts for around a week. After one week, the pot will be fully empty and after one week, we again uh, fill this pot with water and the plants again continue the irrigation cycle. So one point to remember is that during the monsoon, you need to place the lid in this manner. So you place this lid in this manner on top of the pot. The reason why we ask you to place the lid like this is to prevent any stagnation of water. If you keep it like this, there's going to be stagnation of water here and it could lead to mosquito breeding. Uh, so during the monsoon months, you keep the lid inverted in this manner on top of the, on top of the pot. And during the summer months, you can keep this lid in this manner and fill a little water here. This also acts as a bird feed during the hot summer months. So the water that you will place here will attract birds and they will use this water during, uh, for drinking during the hot summer months. Please use uh, the lids in this manner, depending upon the seasons. So this is an automatic system that we've implemented. We do not have any drip irrigation system or anything over here. We just use this 4,000 year old technique of irrigation for, uh, for our green roofs and it's working wonderfully for us for the past several years. You should try this system.